Welcome to my presentation. The title of this paper is Joint Transmitter and Receiver IQ Differential Phase Calibration Using a Single 4x8 MIMO Equalizer. You know that I and Q have different um, electrical responses. Even we compensate the S21 magnitude. Uh, what is remaining is the IQ common phase as well as the IQ differential phase. In this presentation, we are going to uh, propose a method to extract the IQ differential phase at the transmitter and the receiver. As the bulk ray is going up, we are facing the limitation of the electrical devices. If we are still very lucky, we may just see a uh, small ripples of the uh, on the differential phase across the frequency. And we can just do a linear curve fitting and extract the slope as our skill value. However, um, practically, we usually have a larger variation uh, across the frequency. And these uh, fluctuations will uh, degrade our estimation results because different frequency range will uh, give you a different linear fitting. Therefore, it is necessary to estimate correctly and compensate the frequency dependent differential phase response. Usually uh, for our DSP, we can uh, separate um, the transmitter and receiver compensation in two MIMO, two equalizers. The first one, for example, uh, we can use a two by four uh, complex MIMO or four by four real MIMO to compensate the receiver skill and also extract the receiver skill. While uh, the second stage MIMO, uh, which is a two by two real MIMO per polarization can allow us to compensate the transmitter impairment and also measure the transmitter skill. Um, in 2019, there. Uh, there has been a, uh, an OSC paper mentioning that uh, we can use a single stage two by eight uh, complex MIMO to compensate both transmitter and receiver skill at the same time. Um, however, this is only an experimental demonstration. And the principle of this uh, uh, equalizer is still not very well explained. And we don't know how to extract the transmitter and receiver impairment. For the calibration DSP, we can turn all the blind approach to the uh, data assisted, and we can use a frequency offset rotated reference to enhance the calibration quality. A goal of this, uh, this paper is to design a single stage equalizer to compensate the overall channel and jointly estimate the transmitter and receiver differential phase. Please note that all these uh, DSP designs or, or these DSP equalizers require us to have more than uh, uh, at least non-zero frequency offset in order to separate the transmitter effects from the receiver effects. To explain our, explain our proposed method, first, the DSP, the ordinary DSP is to uh, compensate the channel impairment block by block according to an inverse reverse order of the physical channel. If we use a two by four complex MIMO or four by four real MIMO to estimate the receiver compensation or to do the receiver compensation, we have to shift the CD compensation in front of all the DSP. Also, we need to multiply each ADC branches using a complex spacer in order to avoid IQ mixing. For the entity approach, um, we shift the frequency offset compensation behind the transmitter compensation. And also we have to use the complex conjugate of the inputs. In this work, we are going to shift the frequency compensation, uh, sorry, frequency offset compensation before the CD compensation. This architecture allows us to, um, to derive a 
uh, channel immerse that allows us to extract the transmitter and receiver information. Besides um, the ordering of the frequency offset compensation and CD compensation will be respected. For factory calibration, we're going to set CD chromatic disp dispersion to be zero. For the implementation, first, we transform the ADC outputs to uh, four complex inputs of the uh, filter. We multiply a spacer that is for frequency offset compensation to each of the uh, ADC outputs. And also we multiply the imaginary constant J to the constructor part. Then we duplicate all these four new inputs to another four set of inputs but they are just the conjugate, oh, sorry, the complex conjugate of the previous four inputs. Now we have eight inputs and convolute with a filter bank with a dimension four by eight. And each coefficient of the filter band consists of 75 SIR tabs. We're not going to talk about optimization of the uh, coefficients because the uh, principle of M MMSB is well known. Our goal now is to get a com combination of these coefficients to estimate transmitter and receiver uh, IQ differential phases. So here shows our method. And to estimate the corresponding um, skill, we'll we are just do a linear fit and then obtain the slope of the differential phase. And note that the uh, frequency range uh, will be covering the entire signal or uh, maybe the actual DSP bandwidth. There is no unique way to get these combinations. Um, we did the above is based on our derivation and then uh, by our experimental result. For the experimental variation, uh, verification, we just do a direct uh, loopback or a back-to-back uh, -back setup. And first, we load some funny shape which is a, a, sign, a sinusoidal um, differential phase on the transmitter. And we can successfully retrieve the transmitter uh, IQ differential phase of the same form uh, from our DSP. Then we also measure the transmitter skew and we detune the transmitter skew from three picosecond to positive three picosecond. We also change a little bit the receiver skew to see the impact of the receiver skew on the transmitter measurement. And the measurement was taken um, over 30 random SOPs and we take the mean of um, our method and also compare with other methods. And we see that our method, which is in uh, red in color, overlaps with other uh, currently existing methods. And also it doesn't seem to be affected by the receiver skew. However, our method is suffering from a larger estimation variance, uh, but still the standard deviation is within 0 0.1 picosecond. In order to understand why uh, our methods suffer from a higher variance, we just pick an extreme case, an extreme case which is a minus 3 picosecond at the transmitter skew. Then we plot the, all the uh, differential phase over 30 SOPs. And the red color, the red, um, the red curve shows our result, and basically our results aligned with other methods result, except at the band edges, and we see high fluctuation at the high at the high frequency ends. So mathematically, um, we just plug all the parameters back to the coefficients, and then we can see that the uh, receiver. Uh, phase responses interact with the channel parameter, oh, sorry, uh, with the polarization parameter. Therefore, that is the reason uh, we see a higher fluctuation at, uh, and, and higher frequency. For the receiver IQ differential phase extraction, we perform the similar experiment. And first, we just measure uh, over 30 uh, SOPs, the differential phase. We found that. Um, our approach, our approach, show a very stable result over 30 SOPs. 
while the other existing approach seems uh, to have more problem. And also uh, when the receipt, uh, when the transmitter still is present, um, the fluctuation uh, will become more serious. So the reason for that can be uh, they're using IU references and therefore uh, the transmitter impairments may affect the receiver measurement. And also uh, if we want to correct it, we may consider to add transmitter impairments on the reference for the uh, MIMO optimization. In order to explain why our uh, equalizer is so uh, robust to the SOP, we can um, just plot again uh, all the channel parameter into the filter coefficients. And we found that there is no transmitter uh, phase response that interacts with the polarization parameters. Because of these fluctuation, um, the existing methods will give you a higher uh, standard deviation when uh, measuring the receiver skill. And compared to them, our proposed method seems to be very robust to random SOPs, which means uh, we will have a lower error, lower error when uh, measuring receiver skill. And also our method is independent of the transmitter speed. Last but not least, uh, we found that it is very important to compensate the differential phase completely rather than just com uh, compensate the, uh, the skill value. To conclude this presentation, we proposed a, here a single stage 4x8 MIMO equalizer to jointly calibrate transmitter and receiver IQ differential phase responses. The principle is to extract uh, these phase responses from uh, the equalizer coefficients. We did an experiment uh, to verify our approach using 30 random SOPs to generate our statistics. And we found that our, our transmitter differential phase may suffer from uh, a higher frequency, oh, sorry, uh, more fluctuation and a high frequency. And therefore, uh, for the skill measurement, uh, we may have a slightly higher error but still all the error is below 0 0.1 picosecond. While our receiver IQ differential phase calibration is very robust compared to other existing methods uh, to SOP. And still uh, for our uh, receiver and transmitter skill measurement, uh, our accuracy is pretty high and the error is still below 0 0.1 picosecond. Finally, we would like to acknowledge the help from uh, the production team and Huawei Technology, Dongkuan, China, from March to June of last year. Thank you very much.